Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we have a fun looking puzzle here. Uh, it's called Kickstart by Will Power. And I didn't see, well, let's look in look at the rules and see what's going on here. Because I, I haven't really looked at this too in depth. It just caught my eye by just how the way all this looks. So uh, hopefully we'll, we'll have some epiphany of what all this is doing as we get into it. So let's look at our rules. So we've got normal Sudoku rules apply. So every row, every column, and every three by three box contains the digits one through nine once each. We've got arrows, so numbers on arrows, sum to the number in the arrow circle. We've got a bunch of arrows here. So pick any of them. Let's just look at this one. It's the most out of the way and uncluttered. These two digits, whatever they are, when you add them up, equal that. Plain and simple. Then we got cages. So numbers and cages sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. Numbers do not repeat on arrows or in cages. That I didn't see until now. So the does not repeat is actually uh, enforced on arrows, even if other rules would allow it in other puzzles. This one does not. Uh, so going back to the cages, whatever these digits are, they must all add up to 15 and not repeat. And then the last little bit here says, the cells shaded orange are the same number as one another. Okay, so these must all be the same digit. I wonder if that's why it's called kickstart, because he's kind of giving you a little in here as to what those could be. So anyway, those are the rules. Uh, the link will be in the description below as always. And let's get into this one, see if we can get it figured out. So the first thing I saw were these killer cages that seem like they're gonna be quite useful. Because we've got a five cell, if I can use my mouse correctly, 15 cage, and we've got a two cell 16. Well, there's only one option for both of these. The 16 must be nine, seven. The five cell 15 must be one, two, three, four, and five. Because you, that's the bare minimum. So you add up one, two, three, four, and five, you get 15. Therefore, it must be. Now, with our little kickstart that Will has given us here, a very generous, we're gonna know that all of these digits must be the same, so therefore, this can never be a one. Digits cannot repeat on an arrow, so this cannot be two. It's a little bit of something there. What else does it allow for? Can we, well, what we do know is that these two must be the same, but these cannot repeat. So we have to have multiple ways to make the same digit. So therefore, this can't be three or four because there's only one way to make each one of those. This must be five, therefore these are not. And if that's five, all of these are five. Again, how very, very generous. Okay, now this makes sense. We know that these have to be some combination of one, four, and two, three because we can't repeat and those all equal five, so that's good. Where is, our, okay, this guy here can't ever be a nine. We could have seen that right off the bat, but I moved elsewhere. Uh, therefore, digits can't repeat on an arrow. This is a seven already, and this can't be nine. So this has to be eight, and this has to be one. Now this has to be a four to get us to the five. This is not four. These are not ones. And I know I can pare these down a little bit more, but we're going to continue on with the more obvious areas of work here. Let's look at these fives a little further. None of these can be fives by Sudoku. This can't be a five, but because you can't put a five in its own line. Again, none of those could be fives. Does that help us out anymore? Well, No, I don't think we can make a determination here as to which one of these could be that five. We know one of them is, but this could easily be a five, and this could be a one, four, or a two, three. Now this four has to pair with at least a two, because it can't be one. Oh, the seven here, we should have looked at that. This just has to be two, and this has to be nine. This is a four, two pair, so this is six. What else do we have that's crisscrossing here that we can use? 
We've used most of these already, so we can't go back there. There is a lot on the screen, so it's have to figure out how to manage the visuals here. What about Is there an interaction between these two that can tell us something about these guys? I'm curious about that. Well, let's say these can't be twos because of that. So we've got a three, four and a three, four. So these guys uh, can't be threes or fours. Now these can't, ever be fives. So these can't line up in such a way where we have uh, these equaling five. What does that leave us with? Well, we can either have three here with the... Yeah, so if we... Let's just think about it for a second. If this was a three, this would be a two. This would be a one. This would be a four. That would be a three, one. This would have to be four. If this is a four, this is one, this has to be two, so that would be six. So these are either four or six. This, the same should probably apply to this one, but we can just look here and see this is a four here. So that is six. Therefore, this must be four, two, three, and one. And that tells us one and three gives us a four. All right, further then, this is a four by Sudoku. Now, a lot going on again, but maybe there's some min-maxing we can do on some of these other lines. This digit cannot be 7, 8, or 9, and it can't be 5. It could be 6, 4, or 3, I guess. We can't be 6 because of this 6. Okay, so this is a 3 or a 4 which means these have to either be a 1, 2, or a 1, 3. This can't be 2. Now, if this is a 5 and this is a 1 or a 3, if it's a 1, this would have to be a 4. It can't be. So this is 3. Therefore, this has to be 2. This is not 2. Digits can't repeat on an arrow, so this has to be a 1, which means this is 4. Now, what else do we have? Uh, This can't be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. So therefore, it just must be 7 to go with this 2 to make a 9. Therefore, this is 5. 7 and 1 equals 8. Okay. And it looks like we're pretty close here now to just kind of bombing on uh, normal Sudoku. So let's see what we've got sitting out here looking at us. One of those must be a two. That forces this to be a two. And, and one of these two is, oop, not that button, that one. Okay. What about threes and fours? Not much on threes here, but well, okay. As I say that, it's obvious there is. None of these can be threes. This is three. So this is two. What about Anything more on the three there? I don't see it there. So fours. I think we can say something about these that I didn't consider previously. Is that correct? Let me think about this in my head for a second before I sound incorrect or say something that's incorrect. Okay, I'm going to abandon what I was thinking there and move forward. What about fives? There's an X-wing left on those. There's no sixes, really. Well, again, I misspeak. <laughs> that one is a six. What about these guys? I mean, a seven and eight. There's an eight there. Seven and eight. These two have to be from one and six. So this is six. This is one. These have to have sevens and nines. This is nine. This is seven. Okay. 
and looking to see where it might be the best place to next look. What about in here? We need to put a six, so it has to go here. The remaining digits are three and eight. They are not set at the moment. What about these guys? We need a seven. Go in one of these two. We need an eight. And we need a nine. So seven, nine here points at this. This is eight. Then we get a seven, nine pair here. That isn't quite determined yet, but that's fine. And we need to look here and figure out what this possibility could be. Because these have to be from two, seven, and eight. Yeah, that's what it just needs to be. This can't be two or eight. So this is seven. Get rid of these. This can never be an eight because this can never be a nine because of that. So this is two and eight. These have to be from one, four, and six. So what combination could we get here that might work? All of them. This could be three, six, or eight. Okay. Uh, these three, what do we got? Three, five, and six. This has to be three. And these have to be from five and six. All right. Let's look over here on these guys. We end up with the three, eight, and nine. Can't be an eight over here, so this is eight. That forces this to be three. These two are given now. They're three and six, and we have a six, so we can get the three and the six. Now we can look down here. We gotta put a one, must go there, and we need a seven. And then these three digits are now left over, which are four, eight, and nine. This is not four. This can't be a four, because we can't put a one, three in here, because of these guys, so this is four. So we've got eights and nines here. This 368 hasn't been reduced just yet. So do we need to continue with what we were doing? Yes, two, seven, and nine. Seven, nine, so this is the two. This is seven or nine. Oops, get rid of that little mark just for the sake of it. And then these two have to be from one and four. They're still out there. These two must be from three and nine. We can get that one at least, three and nine. Now this can't be three, so we can get rid of the one. And <clears throat> this is a given digit of three, I believe. Yeah. We need a two in here somewhere. We need a eight in here somewhere, and then the seven and the nine. So it just means that this is either an eight or a nine, which doesn't quite give us what we need at the moment, so we'll move along for the moment. All right, let's go back to straight Sudoku real quick, just to see if we can pull something out. Maybe there'll be something. Yeah, there we go. The threes. This is a three. That does finish those. What about fives? No, it looks like we've got some options there. One of these is a six, and one of these is a six. That's an X ring. So these can't be sixes, which means this is a four. This is one. This is six. That means this is six, five, six. That's what we just needed to find. This is a five, this is a two, this is a two. We now have a five here. So to get to eight, we need a three. We can't do it, so this has to be four, nine, eight. That's seven. And this has to be an eight. That four finishes the one and the four. This is gonna have to be our seven. This is going to have to be a one. And this is what? Uh, nine. Then 
we can finish these two off. That should do it for it. The seven right here, we can just say this is nine and seven. And then this is eight, and this is nine. There we go. So that was a quick one. It says, oh, it says, uh, it does not include solution. This was from a few days ago. Um, I wonder if this works now like I thought it used to, because I thought there was a point where you could click on this and it would work. But the last couple that I had didn't work that way. Let's see what that says. No, it didn't do it again. Okay. So, anywho, let me get back to here. Uh, if I find a, a new link to this, or that new link, I'll put all my stuff into that, as like we have done in the past. Uh, so, we'll say OK. Uh, that was a quick one. OK. I didn't want to stop my progress there, but uh, that was absolutely a kickstart. <laughs> Uh, quite a lot of help out there in the beginning to get things going, but that was a, a fun little puzzle. Uh, try to clear the the the, fo the cobwebs that are up in the brain for today. So uh, always enjoyed a willpower puzzle. Hope you all did too, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.